Hi right, guys, the real winner here again today, and oh my god, what a week it's been for Wolves fans. We knocked Stoke out in the cup, Dog big, big, big shock, and then a week later, we beat Aston Villa 1-0 at home. The two things, two records have been broke today. One is that a striker has actually scored since August the 20th, I do believe it is, and second, we also haven't kept a home clean sheet, except for today, since August the 13th or something like that. And we broke both of them today. And I will say, I thought it was a great performance, you know. Uh, at first, it looked like we were stuck, we were, uh, in the first five minutes, it looked like we were sinking into a Villa game because they've got bigger players, they've got taller players. We've got smaller and faster players. So we kept getting into aerial battles and it, it was pointless. But then... We started, do, we started getting the ball then, we started doing a few one-touch passing that and it, you know, it looked like you could see what Lambert wanted us to do and then I think Costa held the ball up, played it through for Dico, stayed on side, he, he, he put a good cross in, the keeper comes out, uh, you know, palms it to the side, Mason, you know, he, he hits it straight into the ground, bounces up and goals in and it was, it was a good finish and I was just relieved that a striker was scored. I thought it's 1 0, but will we sink? And the defence stayed strong, it stayed stern. That def the defence was good. You wouldn't recognise it throughout the season, you know. Yeah, Bath began the season really well. Then he had a huge dip. Today, he played well. Stearman played well. Stearman won a Stearman and Bath won a lot of headers. Stearman probably more in the penalty box. Bath more when they booted the ball to Gabby and that, you know, just to get the ball forward. Price in midfield. Okay, Price did give the ball away a bit, and he wasn't as good as he has been recently. But he didn't have the attitude of, oh no, I'm playing bad. He had the, or oh, I'm not doing my best. He had the attitude of, I've got to keep going. And he didn't, he, he didn't do too bad. He wasn't the best, he didn't do too bad. Edwards did well. Uh, and at the car he came on, he did well. And we all seemed to fit together. And all I've got to say, I've got to say this, this is what I like about Lambert. His subs make an impact. His subs make an impact. Bod Varson came on, made an impact. And at Bakari came on, okay, wasn't the best, but made an impact. George Savile came on. Now, at first I was like, okay, he's just brought Savile on. Okay, Edwards might be a bit tired. He's played a lot of games and that. Let's see how it goes. And he didn't do too bad. His passing was decent. Um, he didn't do anything exceptional, but he did do the basics. And the basics are important to do when you think about it. Because if you don't do the basics, you ain't going to get nowhere. But over time... Um, Lambert has really got Wolves going somewhere and I must say we haven't I think we've lost one game in the last six and next week we've got Norwich away which I will also be doing a review on. and then after that it's it's still got to be decided but it will be us away at Plymouth or Liverpool if it's Liverpool I hope we win if it's Plymouth I, I see it as we must have to we have to win to get further through but we'll have to wait and see what I do have to say I think we're going in the right direction with Lambert. Um, we haven't signed many people actually in the transfer window. We've got rid of Ola John. I think Borfield Jackson's on his way out. Um, I, c I could see Teixeira's loan being cancelled. And we've signed a striker, uh, Dukens Nazon, uh, 22 years old, French. Um, he's somewhere from somewhere in France. I can't remember the team. And he's going into the under-23s and he's signed on a six-month contract. So... But um, I think we, we we are going somewhere with Lambert and we have to give him a full season. So give him the rest of this season, give him the summer, give him January, give him that season and see where we are. And we'll carry on from there. Um, final bit, wonder of the week for me has to be one of the back four. It's actually, it should actually be called Wonderers of the week because the back four played that well. It was quite hard to tell if any of them they didn't deserve it. But um, maybe Joel Mason. I might give it Joe Mason for scoring, because that's, that's a relief, a striker actually scoring. Um, that's about it, guys, yeah. I'm going to name it, clear out there, wonder of the week is Joe Mason. But um, it's a good relief for Wolves fans. 2017 we were unbeaten, and we've broke a lot of records that were bad against us. And until next time, guys.